welcome to Canarium. I found this game on Steam a little while ago. It looks really cool. So let's give it a try. It looks kind of scary, but you know, not super scary. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I want to sleep tonight, so I'm going to take it a little easy. I hope I can sleep tonight. All life is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. That's friggin' deep, dude. Whoa, what kind of mushrooms did I take? They were strong. Is this Atlantis? Am, am I dead? I think I might be dead. Is this heaven? If there is heaven and if there is jellyfish in heaven, I'm down. Sign me up. Who's that? No, I don't want to run towards him. I believe no. Oh, he's talking. Like what? What did you do? Ooh, let me pick up that lantern. That lantern looks so cool. Please, 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 just gonna give him a little tap so I don't startle him. Is that you? Please don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. What? See, it's it's creepy, but it's not too scary. Like I said, I want to sleep tonight. Okay, looks like Dr. Faust had some crazy stuff going on. Who needs to put a watch on a wrist anymore when you can put it on the back of your hand? I had What's happening? What's happening, dude? It must be the mushrooms. What type of mushrooms? This is such a bad trip, man. I'm never doing this again. Uh, at last. The pain is subsiding. I thought my head was about to explode. Yeah, maybe we should get away from that glowing orb. That'd be, yeah, that'd be a good idea. I think, so. yeah, yeah. Let's pick this. That is a huge flashlight. So, uh, where's my backpack? Probably gonna need a backpack for this. This thing is massive. Hey, is that peanut butter? Okay, so I guess there's peanut butter for all the patients except for that guy. Fuck that guy. We don't like that guy. There's even peanut butter for the doctor. But what's he saying? All the participants consumed the diverse mixture five minutes ago and they have entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. Maybe it's called death because it's poison. <laughs> All of them are now vaguely mumbling in their sleep. Like they are chanting something, but the sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements in their limbs, and, as always, I wonder if it is because of something they actually are seeing in the beyond. 7.15 p.m. As always, the device is humming and glowing, but this time, the atmosphere is different to the previous sessions. Whatever the reason for this might be, it feels almost like a fantastic device signaling something in a code I don't recognize. It is becoming more and more stressful to be alone here in the midst of this cold, this incense-filled room. It sounds very scientific. <laughs> it sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumbling is much stronger now. Colors and shades are dancing on the walls with the rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can hear wind howling outside. Maybe snowstorm is approaching, or something even worse, like the abominable snowman. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted beyond my area of expertise and guidance. Cannot do anything further except wish for their safe return. Okay, because that will happen, guaranteed. Where is the doctor, anyway? Um... Sahit... Sahiti plant. Cool. Dehurse. So somehow... And the great beyond. That's what we're calling it, yeah. <laughs> Death. So, guess we're gonna need some power. Um... Is this just the waiting room? Oh, here we go. Hello? Anybody here? Radio room. Hmm, but there's no Where power. Where is everybody? I was just about to say the exact same thing. 
Oh, no, it's locked. What room was that, though? It looks like I want to remember this. Problem right now. So we've got an elevator, infirmary, and storage room. Kiki? Kiki, Kiki. Can somebody let me out of here? Some somebody help. I need help. Get me out of here. I'm scared, dude. <laughs> there's, there's no other people here. I'm so alone. It's just what I want to do is go outside into a giant storm. My favorite thing to do in the world. Oh, look. Yeah, it is a storm. Just like I thought. Great. I knew that note was true. What do you mean we're having a power problem? Do you see all these lights? Ooh, I'm going to follow the flags. Follow the flags and they'll tell you where to go. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the upper water Antarctic base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. Because I got super high. And I don't know what to do. Because I got high. Because I got high. Come on, open. 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 Who did that? Was that Dr. Faust? Screw that guy. Ooh. I'm taking this tape, yo. Never know when you need a good at, uh, a good sticky roll of tape. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Give me some of this. I'm chilly. Oh, nice. Key. Hey, hey. What am I going to... Oh, yes. Here we go. Um, door. Where's the door? Perfect. Yeah. Let me in, boys. Ooh, what's this? A book. H.P. Lovecraft. At the Mountains of Madness. I've never read H.P. Lovecraft. A novella named The Mountains of Madness, written by H.P. Lovecraft. Sweet dude, am I keeping this? You've earned a trophy. Nice. I love trophies. Was this Tomb Raider? Is there a generator? I think there's a generator in there. Can I use this ladder, please? No. Oh man. Ooh, what's this? Yes. This is now we're cooking with gas. Nice. Ooh, and there's gas. Hey, hey. That's what I'm talking about. Speak of the devil. Pour some gas up in this hoe. I guess the rubber hose was broken too, because I just I think I just wrapped all the tape around it. All right, baby, do your thing. I think I have to turn it on. Do I have to turn it on first? Oh, wait, wait, let me try this. Let me see if this will turn on. Come on, baby. Yeah, there's power. Sweet! <laughs> I love how there's a cinematic scene for that. Watch this super mundane moment. The power's turning on. Oh my god. It's absolutely epic. I can barely take the suspense. Oh. That's the exact thing I would put in a movie. Can you imagine making a movie about pressing buttons? Like making a scene from the Transformers? Explosions are happening. Things are just exploding all out of the way, and the button, the, your finger's just coming closer and closer and closer and closer to the button till it finally hits. And then something like super mundane happens, like a window opens. <laughs> That'd be sweet, man. That'd be sweet. Oh, all the doors open now. What's this? Come on, give me power. I want power. I can't press button. Oh no, I want press button, though. Please let me press button. I already turned on the power, so you can calm your nuts. All right, I guess the power's on. That's cool. I'm down. No, thank you, Dr. Faust. I don't want any of your tricks anymore. You've caused enough mayhem in my brain cells. Nice. Which one's this? I think I'm looking for the radio room. This is living quarters. Nothing but a bunch of stupid beds and crew rooms. Ooh. I wonder if I'll find somebody to spoon with in there. Please. It's been so long since I spooned with anybody. I've been alone in here for years. Ooh, who's that? It's just some dude. I'll take anybody. I don't care. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to the radio room. Screw you guys. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna radio somebody to spoon. Call him up on the telly. Please spoon with me, Dr. Faust. Ooh, I think this is where I'm going. Elevator, infirmary, and storage rooms. Hmm, infirmary, yeah. Let's see what's wrong with me. A lot of stuff, I'm mentally, yeah, I've got a lot of problems. What's this? Dr. Wit, uh, wait, Jell, J, J, DeWitt, okay. Our psychoactive plants, Sadie and Diverse. Okay, cool. What do they do though? They just make people go nuts and mumble in their sleep? Sounds like a fun time. Um, I guess somebody died. Settlement of consent. By signing this document, you are agreeing to the terms written below. False statements made knowingly or willfully, including affidavits or other supporting documents submitted therewith may be punishable. I hereby declare that I consent to perform daily duties to the best of my ability, listen to the judgment of the expedition leader, Dr. Faust, and participate in a series of medical sessions as needed in the Upwat Arctic base. Antarctic, sorry. <laughs> The risks of participating in the aforementioned medical sessions have been fully explained to me. Any questions I have regarding the procedure, why it's necessary, its benefits, and its risks have been answered to my satisfaction. Therefore, I'm informed and I consent. Sweet. Guess there was some unforeseen side effects, including psychopathy and some other bullshit that sucks. Let's keep going. I want to go to the elevator, though. Ooh, open up, open up, open up. Oh man, it's not like the other one. This has got to be the elevator. Shock hazard, so don't touch that. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. It smells awful in here. Ooh, radio. Can I use it, please? I found a walkie-talkie. Let's see if I can talk to anybody. That would be a no. Ooh. My watch is glowy now. What's it doing? Not a damn thing as far as I can tell. Guess I'll just... Yee! Is there anything else good in here to eat though? Like, can I get some bacon and eggs? Can I get anything right now? Oh man. There's my flashlight. Pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, don't touch that. I, I almost forgot. A golden garbage can? What does it do? I need to know. It looks super important. Elevator. Sweet! Up, up, and away. To infinity. And we're going down. And it's super creaky. And I'm super creeped out. I don't want to die today. Although, a smart person once told me, you'll never die in an elevator. There's only been one falling elevator in history of elevators. That comforts me as I go up at elevators now. I just think of that time that person told me. And I bask in the serenity of it. It's almost like sitting under a very cool tree. Hmm. It's stuck. That seems to be a common problem around this uh, here place. Why don't we get some janitors up in this bitch? Let me guess, they're all stuck. Ah, look! Speak of the devil. A super cool tree that I could sit under. And, you know, relax from my anxiety. This must be the fair or the... It's, it's probably one of the psychoactive plants. And it probably grows on this tree. Can I please touch it? A human hand... Okay, never mind. This is a strange device. It was left on my left arm. And I came around inside the meeting room of the Upuat Antarctic base. It comes to me to no surprise. I don't remember anything about it. And I don't have a clue what it does. Ooh, can I select? Let me select Milwaukee Tau. Okay. So can I use it? It don't work. C is use. All right. This a is anybody. Anybody. Can hello. Anybody hear me? Over. What if I change the channel? 
They may be out of reach. There's a good chance of that, considering when the Antarctic and we're probably the only residents. Won't open. Ring around the rosy. I guess I'll just follow this really suspicious black man. Man, it looks it looks like a vending machine. What what could I get out of it other than death and shock? Oh, is this another elevator? Please. Looks like yeah. I need something to get this elevator to work. Nice. What about my penis? I could use that. I'm hung like an elevator button. Mm, what's this? Link elevator has been set up. It uh, it can reach both the tower and the bottom levels down below the base now. Cool. That is easier. <laughs> camp equipment and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite. Tower base, cavern entrance. All right. So all I need to do is find whatever. It's probably a crank or like a little thingy or a godness, godness. We'll find it, though. We'll find it. Don't worry about it. You just leave it to old beat. He'll find it, no problem. It's stuck. It is. Ooh, here's another door. <gasps> Give me that. I need one of those. No, 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 no. I need it. No, rip it off. Break it. Ah. Oh. I guess I'll have to go somewhere else to find one. <laughs> Shite! Okay, that's not creepy at all. Not even a l ooh, key. Wonder what it's for. Johan DeWitt. Ah, so I can use that in the infirmary. Cuckoo. This is Johan's room, I guess. Man, I should take that coat. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nipply outside. I need some more. I want more keys. I want all of them. Oh, look at that! Isn't that sweet? Oh man, no more keys. I guess Dewitt was the only one stupid enough. Locked. Wait, isn't that the name of the guy Locked. from Bioshock? Dewitt. Oh man, pills, pills, give me those pills. Ooh, I can take this? Sketchbook. It is so creepy. So weird. Why is he drawing that? Okay, that's that's just like a slug. <laughs> I am the stomach, and I will eat you. The devil stomach. I'm keeping that. That is weird. Okay, gonna get my ass out of here. Ooh, there's something private rooms. Definitely gotta go in there. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here, dude. James Barlow. Locked. Of course it's locked, it's private. What in the heck is that? Stuck. It won't open anyway. Ooh, what's this? Pink. And this thing. Ooh, I can probably use that for the elevator. Gonna keep that. Okay, what are we doing here? Um. I really don't understand. Can we turn that down a little bit? Guess I'm just gonna screw around with stuff until something happens. I think that's right. Does that mean I'm getting warmer? Am I getting warmer? Am I getting warmer? I must be getting warmer. Gotta be getting warmer, man. I'm so warm right now. What do these do? Nothing. Those? Nothing. Oh, I think I'm getting it. I got it! Nice! So now... I know what I have to do. I just have to line these up with the red ones. So they've got to be a little smaller. Looks like the perfect size. And they got to be a little slower. Oh, no, a little faster. Way too fast. Way too fast. 
Come on, a little slower, a little slower, baby. Slow that ass down, baby. Yeah, slow that ass down, girl. Maybe it's not the right size yet? There we go, that's perfect. So, to turn it. Oh yeah, we're almost the same speed. Yes, one more. Now they're faster, what? Now they're way faster. Now I'm way too slow. What about this? Got him! Alright, so what did that do? It's doing something with this thing. I guess I can open it now? What is that? Oh, hi there. What the fuck is that? What is that? Who are you? Yo, open your third eye, dog. Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Gilman. I do not, I would not answer him. No way. He looks like the so? Joker and an android combined. Is there a problem with that? My name is Frank Gilman, an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. Plot twist. This thing is claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? So, uh, yeah, this is a good question. Where is everybody? They are here. Um, you want to elaborate on that, bro? Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the canaronauts. You sound like you'd be real fun at parties. I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, dude. Tell me where... What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the Grand Mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. So what... It, okay. Canary not? Voyagers beyond. Beyond? What beyond? No answer. Looking at me like I'm an idiot. What beyond? Are you, you, you don't know what the beyond is? You stupid? Alright. What's up, man? You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman. But you are just a machine. And you are just air. You're dumb too. Okay, air. What? Air? What do you mean by that? It doesn't answer me. Strange. And then he just turns off. That was so creepy, man. I hate dolls. Well. I'm going to save the rest, or some more, if you like it, for another episode. See you then. Adios!